going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today, a little something different. Just something I found basically on the side of the road. So let me go ahead and tell you the actual model number here. If it's gonna be in the description anyhow, but it's the Dyna Craft Wheels 8804-04. And I'll get into it after I show you guys the running video of it because I'm sure you'll wanna see that first before me talking about the car. So let's get that video going right now. All right, so I just want to kind of show you as far as what I used in here. So I just had a 2S LiPo Gens Ace, as you can see right here. Nothing fancy, but there you go, the specs. And I just use a, a TQ radio from Traxxas. This came with like my Rustler, that, uh, but I've already upgraded it or, or came from another vehicle as well. But anyway, yeah, inexpensive little radio just to use as a project as what we have here in front of us. And nothing fancy, nothing's mounted down because everything was just kind of like, let's see how this is gonna work. So yeah, there's the receiver hanging up here and I'll get to the servo here in a minute. Then just have the little hex fly. This is the, what is this? The HX1040 uh, crawler. This came out of the Red Cat Gen 8 or their, what is it? The Scout 2. So anyway, just a crawler truck. And that's what it is. That's what it came out of. That little orange truck right there, 110 scale. Now that I use the stock motor in there because well it's already geared and it's I think it's like a 380 motor so it's a smaller brushed motor but anyway I figure if it can do the job of you know carrying a little child for you know under 55 pounds it's gonna do the job okay for now but um, yeah just want to kind of check it all out let me go ahead and show you what's underneath so here's the servo that I did on it anyhow this is like an HPI something something part of the chassis or what have you upper part of the chassis it was a car that was just given to me and a lot of parts were missing off of it that was just like it had been better just to buy another one so i just figured i'll just hack this one up had a little spot for a servo so i went ahead and just mounted with two screws there and then this is just off of i think off of a traxxas rustler i already have rpm ones that were sent to me so that's why i just use this one here it works pretty well I tried to make it a little bit longer so I could get a little bit more um, turning radius on this vehicle. I went ahead and just used a little bit of like marine grease just to kind of make things a little bit smoother, just to make it so it would turn a little bit better. So yeah, that's pretty much in a nutshell. And here's the information on the car itself. Let me turn it this way for you guys. But yeah, that's what I just found. They're like 130, 150 bucks as far as this car goes. But again, I just, like I said in the very beginning, I just found this thing on the side of the road and I just cleaned it all up and really there was nothing wrong with it other than there was just a dead battery inside of it so people will get rid of them just because the battery's bad in it i found that quite a few times where just people just throw them away because the batteries aren't cheap and you know either their kid doesn't use it anymore or whatever but this one was really nasty looking but i tell you um this one really shined up really nice so pretty pleased with it so i might put some leds on it does have leds in the front here as well and well it's a pretty large vehicle, so for it to move around on this desk, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. But yeah, even when I turn the wheel, the steering turns as well. It does have some audio functions in here, like that. It's got the horn. But yeah, I mean, all this stuff has been disconnected as far as this would be your forward, and this is your neutral, and then reverse, and this would be, right here would be just your lights and stuff. I've already hooked stuff up before to test it all. So I might put some, it does, like I said, have LEDs in the front, but doesn't have anything in the rear. It's just fun 
I like tinkering with everything, so that's why I just kind of did the video. I uh, just kind of been messing with it here and there. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll get some other ready, regular RC vehicles out there like we got, you know, from Habao. Anyway, you've seen, if you haven't seen it, we do a lot of different RC stuff too. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Check us out at omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. I'll catch you in the next video. You guys take care and thank you again for watching.